Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People, do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. Would be easy. Are you usually this slow? Oh, Are you usually this slow? Yo, finally packing up to get out of here? Talking in my sight. Sucks to be you. I'm on his trail.
Someone's gonna be waiting on these packages for a long time. Always a handy place to change. This will make such a difference for the community. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, bye bye. Miles. Hey, Ma. Bim. Mm. <laughs> I just wanted to check in. See how you're doing. Todo bien? Mm. Fine. Everything's good. <sighs> okay. It's just a lot right now. It's so much to take care of in the city. <sighs> Super stressed about my college essay. Pete's busy doing other stuff. And Lee. Lee is still out there. Doesn't that bother you? Of course it bothers me. But I'm committed to making this community better. I've got to let go of things that don't serve me and focus on where I want to go, not where I've been. ¿Entiendes lo que te digo? Yeah. But Lee? I can't just let him go. Angela, I'm gonna have to call you back. No, how can you be locked out? You have a key. Oh. No, no, I, I understand the urgency. Uh... Let me make some calls. Okay. Mom, do you need me to go? Didn't you just finish telling me how busy you are? Yeah, but I always have time for my community. <laughs> okay, Ma. Where am I headed? Harlem Cultural Center, 116th and Convent. That was my friend Angela on the phone. She's the curator, and she's trying to give a prospective donor a private tour. But the security system locked her out. Whoops! Awkward! Angela lined up a bunch of items for a new music exhibit, but funding fell through. And if this donor doesn't cover the costs, the museum might have to close. I'll make sure they get in. passionate about preserving the musical heritage of this community. But how can I donate to a museum where the security system isn't even functional? Darren, I hear your concerns, but I assure you this museum will... Spider-Man. Oh, thank God. The system's locked us out, and it's not responding to any input at all. Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Need to find the control panel.
There we go. Control panel. Relays are overloaded. Gotta get inside the walls to fix them. Let's patch things up so Angela can give that tour. Who are these guys? Should the alarm go off? The MP took out the whole system. The alarm alone. Break this paradox. So that's how Angela got locked down. Better reset the system so I can get in there and stop these guys. Hmm, not too bad. Let me fix it up real quick. Hey, Miles. I checked in with all the feast shelters. No one has seen Martin Lee. <sighs> Thanks. Can't believe I let him get away when I could have. You know? Could have what? Made sure he didn't hurt anyone else. Right. Well, don't worry. I'll keep looking. stuff in here. These guys seem like pros. Get this back online. Nice. But the system's still down. Must be more relays. Zax and Drum are already in the truck, right? Yeah. We got time, and a lot more room in the trucks. Gotta get past these guys without being spotted. How about a distraction in the key of C?
better be you. Miles, everything okay? I ran into a snag, but I'm handling it. While you're there, check out some of the instruments. Get you ready for college. Ma, I'm going into music tech. Computers are my instruments. Music starts with a human, their instrument and their soul. When you're mixing or sampling, you have to listen close and capture that soul. Computers can't do that. You know how old you sound right now? Old and wise, you mean? Getting a stronger signal now. Looks like there's one more relay to bring back online. the room. How much time we got? A couple minutes. Grab the last few things and get ready to load them into the trucks. Copy that. last relay online, then head to the voting dock. Make sure these guys don't get away with any of this stuff. Uh, abort! Let's roll! Nice work, Spatterbot. Now it's my turn. Spider-Man, the front door's finally open. But there is a bunch of stuff missing. It's all out back in the loading docks. And I'll make sure it stays there. Let's get out of here, quick! Go, go, go! Stop sneaking around, Spider. Web. It's gotta be him, right? Is that him? So many of these webs! Webs all over What's the freaking place. That could be him. Think You're slipping, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's here. Whatever. Take him out. You won't last long, Spider. <laughs> Tell your boss, don't go messing with my neighborhood. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> 
Spider! My favorite! Meet at the rendezvous point in an hour. Not today. Funky drummer. They only recovered items from one truck? What a mess. Sorry, Angela. This is a deal breaker. There goes our best hope for a big donor. There's still the fundraising gala. If we don't find that second truck, there is no exhibit. Without an exhibit, there is no gala. Without a gala, the museum will have to close. That won't happen. I promise. Here. This belonged to Clyde Stubblefield. Ooh, the original funky drummer. <laughs> Do you know how often his rhythms were sampled? <gasps> he was so influential, a direct line from funk to hip hop. <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry, I'll find the rest of those items. Thank you. I should check in with Pete. Actually, Harry's calling. I have to take this. Catch up later? Oh, uh, sure, man. Later. Hey, Pete. I'm at EMF. No sign of Doc Connors yet, but I could use an extra set of eyes. On my way. Have you heard anything from MJ? You said she's stopping by his house, right? Nothing yet. She told me she'd call when she got there. Let's hope he's just taking a sick day. Yeah, definitely. I I'm gonna check her office. Just come by when you can.
hunters doing a stakeout? Not in my neighborhood. Yay on the cloak. Hey, he is. What up? Ah, cloaking tech kind of let you down today. Yeah, fellas. Shut him down. with your feet hole. Let me take care of it. Next time, do your ambushes in the streets, like normal criminals. All right, folks, updates on the trial of the century, the people of New York versus Norman Osborne. You remember Devil's Breath, how Mayor Norman was indirectly responsible for poisoning the city a couple years back? Well, his lawyers have slowed the march of justice down yet again with more delays. Our source inside the courtroom tells me they're bringing frivolous motions to prolong discovery. <sighs> All love to my legal eagle friends, but some days you just gotta say it. Screw you, lawyers. All right, see you next time, kids. Hey, cut it out.